Hey guys, we're back in Bozeman now, and I want to show you how to drill a V thread for rappelling off of a route. Now, a number of people have different ways of doing this. Everyone sort of has their own system. Uh, some folks like using two of the same screws. I kind of I flip around between using two of the same screws or one 20 and one 19 screw. You know, it kind of uh, the way I do it, it doesn't really matter if they're the same length. And so what I'm going to start with is just drilling the first hole. I'm going to find nice amount or nice uh, good white ice that has a lot of structures around it. You want to be careful of bulging or anything that would cause a dinner plate if you were to swing your tool. And then I'm going to drill my first hole. First thing I do is I sort of make a little etch right there. And then I can use that like a vertical etch and then I can use that to get a good angle on my first screw and so now that that screw is just about started I'll open up the crank whoops sometimes again sometimes you should do a few more extra half twists since you're putting this screw in at an angle just to help it really get in there there we go same rules for screw placement apply where I'm going to keep on, uh, I'm going to look at the quality of the screw. Sometimes you do have to use your ax to give the hanger a little bit more place to move. All right, that's pretty well in. So then what I do is I immediately back the screw out. You wanna be kind of careful here to keep ice particles out of your hole. There we go. And then that's what I take my smaller screw and I just put it right back in the hole. Not too far, but that way I can use it as a site for my next hole. So now what I do is I take my long screw again and you can measure from that point to this point roughly how far you want to go. I just mark it by etching it out right now. Measure that one again. I'm gonna to try to put it in at the same reverse angle as this screw. And the idea is that you wanna to try to meet the tubes as far back in the ice as possible. So let's get this one started. I can look down this screw and sort of see how they line up. Looks like I can lever on this screw a bit to make it go angle a bit more down because it's slightly higher than this one. But now that I got this pretty well started, I can take this one out. There we go. And now I look down this hole to see where the spikes of the screw enter that hole. One thing I don't really want to do is drill the hole further than the wall of this one, the outside wall, because the rope can get stuck there and it can be hard to pull it out. So I just wanna go until the two tubes meet together. So now my two holes have converged together and uh, I can use a little tool of mine to get my material through. Now, depending on the conditions, you may choose to use cord or rope. Uh, the two main things are if uh, you're climbing in really cold temperatures, like 10, and lower, 10 degrees and colder, uh, or if you're climbing on wet ice. So there's a good chance of your rope freezing in to the ice. And so that's when you would want to use cord. I'm using a tool here called the J-Snare. This is made by a company called J-Snare. I think this is all that they make. But the cool part about this is it's just a loop of like little cord right there. And it doesn't really, it's not like a hook, like other tools that snag on your rope and then they can sort of harm the sheath of your rope. And I stick it in one side. The idea is I stick the J-snare in until I can see it through the other hole. And then I put my cord in. It kind of helps to snag, uh, to twist the cord. So that way you can snag the end, the end of it. Yeah, let me put, I, uh, okay. Did I not catch it? Well, I, I guess I did. Yeah. yeah, I did. I, I guess we'll see. We can make another yeah. video if it doesn't work. Yeah. All right, so now my cord is through the V, and I can tie this together in whatever knot, whatever 
bend knot that you want to. Um, in this case, I would try to conserve my cord. So I would just make a loop roughly about that big after I had my knot tied, thread your rope through. It's a good idea to put in some sort of backup screw at the top. So there you go, you drill in a quick screw and then you can take a quick draw. This is a good idea to have a locking quick draw and clip it into your cord. Yeah, and then uh, that helps, that will back up your V-thread. If you're worried about the cord breaking, maybe it's not the newest cord in the world, you can just clip this straight into your rope. And so that way, uh, no matter what, if the V-thread breaks or the cord breaks, you're still clipped into your backup screw on the rope. Yep. Okay, let me put, wait, uh, okay. Did I not catch it? Well, I, I guess I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. I, I guess we'll see. We can make another yeah. video if it doesn't work. Yeah.